we employ an intuitively perceivable and well-known natural phenomenon that is usually called, God rays, or, crepuscular rays. In nature, bright light sources form crepuscular rays in dusty air. They are influenced by the shape of trees, or by the frame of a window, or other obstacles. We think of a tumor as an omnidirectional volumetric light source in an isotropic scattering medium. Vulnerable structures act as completely opaque or semi-transparent obstacles that block the virtual light which is emitted by the target structure. Our interactive visualization system provides a 3D representation, for a good overview over all access paths. We call the safety information for each path, path safety. In order to convey the safety information also in 2D, we additionally calculate the available leeway for all possible entrance areas, and display them with color-coded lines of different thickness. We call this information, area, safety. In the following, we present several use cases for this approach. First, an artificial patient. 2D slices lack the depth information. In this image, the red area shows an artificial tumor. It is difficult to determine the overall extent of a safe area. To tackle this problem we propose to encode the given elbow room for every safe access area with color and with different line widths of a projected geometry. As already mentioned, we call this information, area safety. This geometric information is derived from the path safety volumes. We show also the computed path safety volumes in 2D. In this scene, we show only paths which reach at least 80% of the segmented tumor areas. Because of the computation in 3D, we can display arbitrary multiplanar reconstructions on the fly. In 3D, a simple one-dimensional transfer function is sufficient to control the visualization of the path safety volumes. This example shows only paths which reach 100% of the tumor volume. By altering the transfer function we can selectively display volumetric path safety information. Our method can be used for any number of input image modalities. For brain tumor surgery, we can directly incorporate information from diffusion tensor imaging, functional magnetic resonance imaging, contrast-enhanced scan sequences and many more. Our method accounts for these information concurrently. Path safety and area safety are independent and can display selected information. In this example area safety displays the safest areas to access the surface of a tumor. Path safety displays the amount of tumor mass which can be reached from every given position. By changing the transfer function, we can for example control how much of the tumor volume should be at least reachable by the projected path in 2D and in 3D. We use a multi-volume rendering system to visualize the output of the path safety computation algorithm, along with the original 3D body scans. Our rendering system allows us also to add the segmentation results as translucent geometry, or to add additional volumetric data if it is desired. This rendering system facilitates also volumetric modifications by constructive solid geometry and space carving operations. Again, by modifying the transfer function of the path safety volumes, we can select how safe the shown paths are, and assign arbitrary colors to them. We also encode distance information in the path safety volumes. Therefore, we can for example adjust the visualization to show only the safest and shortest paths in green. Another abdominal example, shows our method incorporating newest vessel segmentation algorithms for liver tumor ablation planning. Now, we add safe long and short paths to the visualization in green. Some paths injure small veins. This can be acceptable under certain circumstances, so we add those paths but mark them yellowish. 
Often, medical doctors prefer 2D multiplanar reconstruction views. In this example, the path safety in 2D is configured to display areas which are definitely impassable. In contrast, the area safety shows only safe surface access areas. Now, a doctor might turn the multiplanar reconstructions to the safest cutting planes, so that this information can be used for example for monitored interventions or for an interventional navigation system. The visualization can easily be altered for other non-medical applications. For this example, we have chosen an area within an engine block which is difficult to reach. Note the non-obvious access path at the bottom. Thank you for watching.